Okay. Well, I mean, it's obvious that this is a piece of 4-inch diameter, 30-inch long pipe. That's uh, kind of flat, isn't it? Well, now, <laughs> give me a minute. I'll get there. <laughs> I was working on a, I'm starting on a new ball and post sculpture, and I wanted some 4-inch pipe to go in this sculpture. Well, rather than go buy it and pay that exorbitant amount, I figured, what the heck? I got some sheet out here, some 16 gauge. So bring in a whole sheet, throw it in my foot shear, slice it up to the appropriate sizes. Now I'm just getting rid of the scale on the edges because I'm going to have to weld to these eventually. And then once I get all these cleaned up, then I'll go over to my slip roll, roll them all out, take them over to the bench, take them all together. I got pipe. Isn't this a little bit lighter gauge, too, than a thinner wall than if you bought the 4-inch pipe? Oh, yeah, yeah. A 4-inch pipe, uh, the stuff that they had down at the steel yard was 3 eighths wall. Oh, my God. <laughs> way too heavy. Way too thick for what I need. Way too heavy to try to make the sculpture that I want to make. Uh, you know, the part of the secret of doing some of these is you got to be able to keep it light to make it make it do those impossible looking things. You can't have all that weight up there because everything under it has to be heavier, thicker, stronger to hold all that weight up there, especially if you get out in the, into the wind. So what are you using there, Cal? Well, this is my Dayton slip roll. It's a 52 inch wide. It has three rollers on it. There's two of them on the front that I can adjust up and down and that basically pinches the metal. This is the feed side. So you pinch the metal through there and that's how you shove it through. This back roller has two different adjustments on it. Not only does this one go up and down, but you can also make it tilt to one side or the other. So as you're rolling the sheet through, have it higher on one side and it'll give you a curve. You know, either way you want. So you can just roll these all up in one pass, huh? Uh, no, no. <laughs> With the bigger machines that are electrically driven, yeah, you could get away with that. You know, they're ele electrically adjusted. With this one, it's all manual. I'm sorry, this is the only handle I got. This machine is rated to 16 gauge, which is the same size as the sheet that I'm rolling. So it's right at the limit of the machine. Because it's so wide, you know, because this sheet is as wide as it is, it takes several passes. You know, it's going to take probably uh, six, seven, I don't know, maybe even ten passes to go through and to be able to roll it, you know, a little bit at a time, curl it up. You know, if you were to try to come in and uh, raise this roller up as high as you needed to get your finished radius, oh my god, I think my arm would fall off by the time I got to the end of that stack. I've got it turned up a little high as it is, so I'll cheat a little bit and just give it a little bend to start with so it can come up out of this out of this gap. And I like to go both ways with each pass, run it through twice. Because the first time you run this through, you wind up with this little flat spot on it where the flat sheet goes through the feed roller and just before it touches the, the back roller. So you wind up with this little flat spot in there. So I'll run it through again, turn it around, and that'll help take that uh, flat spot out. So because you want it flat, you're adjusting those both the same. Right, right. And, you know, adjust them you know, pretty much the same. I started out with them adjusted the same. So I know if I turn you know, 10 times over here, 10 times over there, use the same amount of turn, they should come out pretty close to one another. When I get close to the last pass, then I'll go ahead and get the ruler out, I'll get my tape measure out, and I'll measure it from the, from the base where the slip roll is sitting up to the bottom of the roller itself to make sure they're exactly the same. So I get a nice smooth curl rather than having them come out going in, you know, off in two different directions. So you'll do them all at once or you'll do them one at a time? Well, I'm, 
doing this one just to show you guys. <laughs> I'll clean up the rest of these sheets, get all the get the scale off the edges so I can weld on them, and then bring them all over at once, and then readjust my machine so I can start right from scratch, get all of them flat, run them all through the first pass, turn them around, run them through again, adjust it up some, do it all again, and that way I can just you know, get a rhythm going rather than adjust it up, adjust it up, make one piece of pipe out of it, and then have to turn it all back down and start all over again with just one more sheet. So, just get a little production line going, if you will. You're going to be here a while, aren't you? Yeah. This, this is the old-fashioned way to do it. So now instead of going ten turns, I'll only do five because it's starting to get a little tight. You see now we're starting to get somewhere. Our gap's starting to close up. So that'll come out just about right. Clamp the edges, you know, tack it on each end, work your way through, tack it, then come back and weld it all. TIG or MIG? Well, this will all be TIG. You know, nice and easy, controllable, not a big glob on the inside. And you don't want to blow all the way through because after you get this all welded and then you come in and grind it down just a little bit, smooth it off a little, then I'll bring it back over, put it back on here, and roll it some more just to kind of even everything out, hide that weld in there the best I can. But you look at it and you think, well now, wait a minute, dummy. You rolled this up into a tube. How the heck do you get it up? You open your feed rollers up. And pull them off. Not bad. So I'll go ahead and clean up the rest of those. Roll all these out. Go to the bench. Weld them all up. You'll see the sculpture as it takes shape. You know somebody's going to be here with their camera doing a lot of taking. So, let me get back to grinding. I'll see you guys next time.